Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, so I'm just so the agenda for today is basically just kind of brief overview of the ETL working group, what we've done in the past couple of years, what we plan on doing, and then we're going to talk a little bit. Uh, Cancel Care Antonio is going to talk a little bit about their ETL process, and Kavi is going to talk about some ETL module that he's been working on, and then Victor is going to talk about the biopic, and then we'll have questions and answers and uh other things that people would be interested in um okay so back in uh 2018 2019 we started out at, in in the etl working group we set up a get a, a repo because we we're like okay we need to put stuff somewhere so that we can uh show what we've been working on uh so in the beginning we basically worked on kind of like what do we want to do with etl how is it going to be beneficial? I mean, uh, what we've learned from it. Um, and so we wrote documentation. We did some stuff with Achilles. Uh, we did some validation scripts. All of the stuff is in the um, GitHub, GitHub repository. Um, so that was in the beginning. And then as we matured, we started looking at, OK, we started adding like the act ontology and the total nums. And we incorporated that into the main ITB2 repository. And then we started looking at, okay, is there ways that we can make ETL easier? And so then we decided that we were gonna, we wrote some storage procedures that would basically um, take an EHR system and then bring it into OMOTH format. And this is OMOTH 6.0. Um, and so then we wrote some storage procedures that went from OMOTH to ITB2. And so as you see, we have a next gen to OMOTH. But we could always have an all scripts to OMOTH or uh, Epic to OMOTH. And so all you have to do is convert into the OMOTH format, and then you just grab the OMOTH I to be to, and you're halfway there. So, and if there's happened to be already sent once for your EHI, you're basically set. You can just go straight into uh, OMOTH and the I to be to, and then have them in both these formats. And then, as we know, in 2020, we had. Uh, the COVID-19. And so we did incorporate the ACT ontology from Michelle and the ACT group uh, into the ITB2. And then we uh, grabbed the Cynthia data set from MITRE. And we started manipulating with that and started using, and then we created a patient set of COVID-19 patients. And then actually MITRE now has recently released their own COVID-19 patient set. So we're utilizing that. And then we also updated some documentation. So that was last year. And so in the future, what we started to look at is, OK, what can we do? And so part of it is working with uh, Manitoba is some type of cancer sample data ontology. Um, we're also looking at how we're doing genomic data, which uh, Victor is going to talk about. And then we started looking at how do we load and export data in the fire format? And Kavi has been instrumental in that aspect. And then we started updating some of the COVID-19 Cynthia data set. So really that's kind of like very quickly, but uh, this is kind of what we've been doing in the past, present and future. Um, obviously if, uh, the future we could change things, if, but this is currently slated for what we think we want to accomplish. And so, so that was basically my aspect of it. I'm going to bring back to the agenda. So uh, uh, Mary, JJ, Alexander, you want to, um, uh, you have, everyone has their own screen. So you want to start off? So I'm going to begin. So we are Cancer Care of Manitoba. So a lot of the introduction is going to be very similar to what Mary has presented. But for the sake of those who might just be joining, I'm going to be going over that briefly. So essentially what we're doing at Cancer Care Manitoba, and you know, my team is going to be Mary as the lead, uh, Zhejian Bao, JJ as essentially the primary programmer, and myself, Alex Sachs, as the secondary programmer slash backup. And so what we're going to be presenting today is just a little bit about Cancer Care Manitoba, a piece about the institutes, kind of the background regarding kind of the issues we are currently running into that we hope to implement I2B2 to solve, and kind of the objectives that we hope our implementation to fulfill, 
and what we hope the information flow to look like after I2v2 has been implemented. Then JJ will be going over the different design modules that are going to be achieving all this transformation and discuss future integrations with REDGAP. So a little bit about us. We are Cancer Care Manitoba. And so we are essentially Manitoba is just north of North Dakota, have universal health care, population of 1.35 million. 